Look here, folks. This is a rough, rough old day. Rough day. And we got a crappie right here. Let's put him in in the boat right here. Look at him. It's a black crappie. Last night was some rough, 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 rough conditions. Tornado. Well, chances of tornadoes. A lot of lightning, thunder. Two inches, or it might have been two and a half, I forget. Inches of rain. And this is the morning after. Let's let him go. As y'all can see, it's windy. The water's in bad shape. And it's muddy. It's starting to get muddy. This water's getting muddier by the minute. I guarantee you, this creek is really flowing in some mud. And as long as we got a visible target for these crappie, we'll catch them. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine. Terribly cold out here. It is cold, I'm talking about. And the surface temperature is at 52 degrees, 52 degrees on top. We had a rough night last night. In fact, I didn't sleep too good. Lightning, thunder, excessive wind uh chances of tornadic activity it was a bad night but i woke up this morning and i wanted to go fishing i can't help it and we <laughs> we caused one crappie to hit uh we're going to fish around here just a little bit and see how active they are that didn't take too long it took about three minutes and i hooked up uh, that fish was around eight feet deep. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's get this jig back. Now I'm using, or right now I am, I could change, but I'm using two pound line right here. And that fish was about eight feet deep. I'm tied to this tree right here, which is straddling a drop off, which I seen a few fish on this drop off in behind this tree i'm fixing to have to change my color i've got a natural color on here right now the thing about crappie is they have remarkable eyesight i mean they can see colors um a natural color in dirty water but sometimes oh there's a fish that was a light light tick sometimes you have to change colors when it gets really bad like it's fixing to now the other day this water was crystal clear look at it now it's a mess out here folks but that's a little black crappie right there they're there now i don't know if there's any big ones or not but the fish is there big school of them let's let him go over here on the clear side As long as they'll hit this jig and I'll show it to you. These jigs was sent to me right here and it's a streamlined jig right there and I have a 1 24th of an ounce jig head on it tied with a Palomar knot because it's two pound line. I'm using a six foot eagle claw rod, light action and a little Daiwa Reverus LT1000 size reel, smooth drag. And let's make another cast out there. Those fish are definitely suspended around eight feet deep. And all I'm doing is picking the jig up. We got a little current right here. We got a current, a slight current, and it's going against the wind. The wind's coming this way, the current's going that way. Uh, because right here this this creek that's in front of us is pouring out uh, muddy water there's a fish this is a big fish right here yeah he thought i couldn't feel him i did i felt that thump this is a good fish right here they look here what a crappie 
My, my, my. So they are some big ones in here, and I didn't bring my net. Dead gone it. <laughs> I looked around and didn't see my net. Ah. Ooh, I don't like to do that with two pound line. Did not bring my net. That is a nice fish right there. My goodness. Let me get my plars and get him loosed. <laughs> I'm fixing to have to put my gloves on. My hands feels like ice. But that jig is probably about two inches long, but it's streamlined. I like it. I like that jig. Well, shoot, let's let him go. We still got plenty of fish in the freezer. There he goes. My goodness, yeah, I was showing y'all that creek, pointing at it like that, and uh, letting y'all know the water's coming out of it and coming around muddy water. And really, all I'm having to do is chunk it out there and just more or less just hold my rod tip up once I get it to around eight feet deep. And that's a size six sickle hook in this particular jig head. I love sickle hooks. Well, I love any, any hook as long as they're, they're sharp. <laughs> I make sure they're sharp. Even with the soft mouth of a crappie, you need a sharp hook, a sharp point. If they're not sharp, I'll take a file and hit hit that point a few times and uh, make it sharp. But what we're going to do is use this color as long as we can. There's a fish. To prove a point about how good these, these fish have remarkable eyesight. Remarkable eyesight. We'll just see how it how it's going if it gets worse we're just going to keep fishing it and when they quit biting it then i'll change colors but that's a little black crappie i'm proud i didn't keep that better fish because i don't know if there's any real big ones in here to be honest uh there was one we know that don't we folks let's let it go okay Let's chunk it back out there and see if they'll keep hitting it. When they quit biting it, then that's, a, that's when I'm going <laughs> to change. Change colors. I'm going to just see how bad the water's got to get before I have to change. Which I can tell you, I know already. All right, we're at eight feet. I'm just holding it. Because... The wind's coming this way, and the current's going that way, and it's sort of keeping my jig in place, especially by using this thin line, this two-pound line. So it's really keeping that presentation right in front of those fish. And that's a good deal. There's a fish. That's a good deal. Here's a good fish. This one's a little bit better. Boy, he thumped it my 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 that he thump it okay but folks it's colder than everything let's see if we can flip him with this two pound line we did he ain't very big anyway but it's colder than everything let's let him go nice fish when they're that size of bigger i love to catch them they're eating this jig. They're still eating it. You can see right here, I'm right on the edge of a mud line and pretty clear water. So these fish are gonna favor this side, obviously. That's what they've been doing so far. And they'll bite good as long as we have a defining line like this. In other words, a, a mud line long as we have that and everything don't turn to mud 
There he is. We're, uh, they're going to buy it real good. This is a big crappie. This is a mule. Oh, my, my, my. And another thing, let's pay attention, y'all. Now, I told you what the weather conditions was. This is really bad weather. When it comes to crappie, they're unlike bass and other species of fish. Oftentimes, a cold front will trigger the bite. Okay? Let's remember that. Some cold fronts, that's a huge crappie. That's a big son of a gun. Let's talk about this. You know, I want to bring up a point right here. Uh, that's a big crappie right there. That's a good fish right there. The point I want to bring in right here is fact. A lot of fishermen, uh, when it said, and it's because of the way they were taught. Let me let this fish go. But I want to clarify this up. Good fish. I've heard it all my life, folks. Oh, there ain't no need going tomorrow. It's going to be rough tonight. It's going to be terrible rough. Ain't going to catch snare fish. It's going to be cold and windy. It's going to be an old bad day. Let me tell you something. That triggers crappie oftentimes. Sometimes it won't, but most of the time these fronts would trigger bites when it comes to crappie. What's rough, it's not rough on the fish. It's rough on the fishermen. Bundle up, come on, come on out here and go fishing if you want to catch a lot of crappie. That's fact. Let's catch another. Now that high vis line is really paying off right now. Not only can I see it real good against the water, against this green, almost muddy water. I'm a line watcher, so I see, I seen that little thump, and I went ahead and thumped him right back, folks. This is a good fish, too. That's the best thing in the world you can do. When you feel that thump or see that thump with this high-vis line, a lot of times you won't feel it, but you can see it. Just thump back. Look at him in there. That's a good black crappie. They ain't nothing. Quit. They ain't no thing wrong with that on it. That's a big fish. My, my, my. They ain't no. I am tearing fish up on this jig. They ain't a dead blame thing wrong with this. And hey, man, whoa. Let's put him back over in here on this side. That is a slab. I've done caught three old biggins in here. Let's see if we can catch our another one. My goodness, they're just wadded up right in here. And another thing you can do when it's windy is put your finger over your line like that or under it once you get it to the depth or kind of semi vertical jigging is what we're doing. And you can really feel those fish. You can watch your line and also feel that thump. My, my, my. There's some darn good ones. See here? Oh, my goodness. I missed him. That was the first crappie that I missed. That was the very first crappie fish that I missed. Let's see if we can go ahead and redeem ourselves. I bet we can. And we did. That's a big one. Oh my, what another good one. I mean, I dead blame good one, folks, on it. Oh, they're mules. I was bad wrong about the little crappie. I want y'all to look what a darn fish right there. That is a big sow cow now my 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 whoa dog got, hey whoa whoa now by a med that's a darn good 
<laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Big old fish. Whoa. Hey, there's some turds right there. Y'all see them? Let's get right here. They're right there, right yonder. Two of them, old big blackings. Them's probably from right, that's probably cone. All right, folks, y'all can see the condition of the water now. If you've noticed, look how the leaves has really come in here on me. The mud line, well, is coming closer to me and I'm running out of clear water right now. So what I'm gonna do is change from this natural color to a sharp truce. Now I'm gonna slow, really just hold it there at the right depth and just move it just a little, not much. There he is. There we go. I tell you what, that chartreuse color didn't get the done, uh, job done. Let's flip that fish in. It's done turn into mud. We're in mud right now, folks. I had to go to a gold, a jig with gold glitter and gold with a pink head. Look how ugly that is. But that's visible. That's visible to the fish. Let's let him go. That's what it's gonna take. Now, how long this will work, I don't know, but we're going to pitch it out there. The fish has moved out just a little bit from me. It took me a little while. I, I wasn't catching them straight down, so they moved out just a little bit. Took me a little while to figure that out, but I did. I knew they were close, so I just kept pitching out a little farther, a little farther. But they're still at the same depth. seven eight feet deep now they'll be able to see this gold gold with a pink head that's a ugly jig but it don't make any difference the weather the water conditions y'all seen it firsthand change just like that and that's what you got to do you got to change with the fish and now we're getting tons of leaves coming in here and that's making it a little bit tough there he is that ain't a bad fish. Now we're catching them in the mud and in the leaves. And them leaves ain't just on top of the surface. Those leaves are down. Let's flip him in here. Those leaves are down in there. A lot of them have been saturated because they've been by the bank a while. And they're all the way up and down the <laughs> water column. And they're catching my jig. But there he is. Let's let him go. Pretty good black crappie. We're still catching them. That's the reason why I emphasize, you know, your jig box or boxes should look like a Christmas tree. All kinds of different colors. Not just natural colors, but all kinds of different colors yellows oranges just all kinds of colors gold which gold is one of my favorite for night fishing or muddy water conditions like we're having to fish right now and another good color and i don't think i've ever used it on this channel is orange oh ugly looking orange That is a good color. Let's pitch that old jig out there. It's just that simple. Let's let it fall to eight feet, which is having a tough time, but it will. Yeah, it'll finally get down there around eight feet, and when it does, let's just hold it there like that and just barely twitch it. I mean, twitch, twitch, like that. Hey, whoa, twitch, twitch. <laughs> and maybe a little twitchy, twitch, twitch. That's about all there are to it, folks. 
there's another one. Oh my, that is a mule. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh my, drag too loose. Oh, <laughs> y'all see that? I don't know if you did or not. I thought he was bigger than that. That's a big old crappie, but uh, he caught me off guard, I was thinking, which is something I don't recommend anybody to do, especially this day and time. There's no reason to overanalyze anything that's going on right now, but look at there, what a big crappie. That's a great old good one. My goodness, that is a hammer. There's a word for y'all. That's the modern. That is a hammer, dude. Let's let him go. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Woo. It's cold. It is cold. And remember, don't teach you when you can, but call this good food.